say by two pixels okay let's save the game just see whether the speed is getting increased or not on the module okay mm -hmm. now I'm pressing S keys so you can see the speed okay so now that we have added the logic for this increase in speed uh, we should also add the logic for the decrease in speed also you know like we can also able to apply the brakes as well okay so let's just uh, add this to the code section here we can say that if event dot key equal to equal to by game dot k let's say for applying brakes b will be the keyword k underscore b obstacle minus equal to 2 pixel let's just save it and run the code ok so now you can see the car is coming and I will be pressing B now ok so you can see here oh ok ok, okay. sorry sir that was funny so the car went in the reverse direction so you understood that uh, for when we are applying B uh, when we are pressing the key B the speed is getting decreased yep so after this we will be creating a function uh, for the scorecard okay so okay let's say we will be creating the scorecard which will accept two arguments okay the car pass the number of car passed and the score okay okay so first uh, in order to set a font we have to set a variable for the font so which will accept i game this font as we are using the by default system font okay none and let's say the size of the font will be 35 as of now we will see whether it will fit on the screen or not or, okay. so then we will say a variable passed equal to font.render which will take that you know that uh, uh, the word which we are passing right now past okay along with that string of car past and true and color two fifty five let's say black in black two fifty five two fifty five so one more one thing uh, like I have already shown how to use the font in my earlier part of the videos so you can check there okay I will be giving the link in the description okay so same goes for the score also font.render score along with this plus star of score okay true and then that will I will set white you can see okay zero dot zero dot zero okay save it and then like now it is has as it is as a type of
the screen okay so now we will be updating the past value and the score like the moment our enemy crossed us okay uh, here uh, the enemy is falling from the top of the screen okay so in the in the code section we can see here only we have to update the past value and the score value because here only we are modifying or we can uh, you know checking uh, when the when the enemy is crossing or go beyond the screen okay so when we go beyond the screen we have to update the number of car passed plus equal to one and then also then we have to update the score also so that means car passed into 10 okay so after this we have to write the logic for the increment in the level of the game okay coordinates when the cra car crash messages appear okay then we have to update the screen okay and finally let's say uh, it should not be you know flashes and just went away the level message it should be you know pause for some uh, couple of seconds let's say three seconds so time dot sleep for three seconds okay save it and thus run the boat mm -hmm. okay the pass value is increasing as well as the score value also get increased let's dodge at least nine cars seven eight nine okay perfect 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 so perfect till now all the functionalities are working as per our logic perfect Okay, so in the next video, uh, we will learn how to add buttons to the game by my game. Okay, and also we will be creating an intro page for this game. Okay, yep. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Okay, this was a little, little, little lengthy, but 
so many things we have you know covered in this video so i hope you liked it and uh, so that's it till then keep coding keep learning thank you we'll see you in the thank you we'll see you in the next video bye bye